let's have a look at from both perspectives. Yeah. So let's have a look at from the occurrence and see what sequence you generate. And let's have a look at from the closed form to see what sequence we generate. So this is the solution here now. This is our solution. And let's just examine, let's just examine the sequence generated. Okay. So let's have a look at the sequence. We'll do both of these. So we'll concentrate on the recurrence. Okay. So let's say given given the recurrence, the recurrence relation relation okay and the recurrence relation is that an is equal to two times an minus one plus three times an minus two uh, where a zero is equal to one and a one is equal to two so given that recurrence relation generate generate the sequence okay generate the sequence that's what we want to do we want to generate the sequence and let's say given given the closed form solution the closed form solution okay that a n is equal to minus one to the n okay uh, plus three to the n plus one over four we want to generate generate the sequence okay so we have two ways of defining the sequence in the closed form from a closed form perspective and also from the recurrence relation perspective and actually we could also we could also define the sequence from the generating function perspective okay so from the closed form perspective, you can see that A0, A0 is clearly equal to, sorry, from the recurrence perspective, you can see that A0 is clearly equal to one. A1 is equal to two. What about A2? Well, A2 is equal to two times A2 minus one plus three times A2 minus two, which is two times A1 plus three times A0, which is a one is two, so it's two times two plus three times one, which gives us four plus three, and which gives us seven. Okay. So the first three terms of the sequence, uh, the first three terms is the one followed by a two, followed by a seven, and so on. Okay. We could generate more by feeding in, let's say, calculating a three. A three would be equal to twice uh, a three minus one, which is a two plus three times a three minus two, which is a one. And we've already, we, we know we know what a two and a and a one is. So we know what a two, here it is seven and what a one is. So effectively actually the next term will be twice a two, which is twice seven, gives us 14, plus three times, uh, three times a one, which is three times six, three times two gives us six. So we have 14 and six would, be, give, us, would give us, if I'm not mistaken, would give us 20, okay? So let's take the closed form solution. And let's see what we get. So let's calculate a zero. So a zero is effectively minus one to the power of zero plus three times zero plus one, zero, three to the power of zero plus one over four. Okay. What does that give us? Minus one to the zero is just one. Uh, three to the power of one is three. So that's three over four, which gives us, you can see a zero is actually equal to one, which is what we require. What about a one? So a1 is going to be, it's minus 1 to the power of 1 plus 3 to the power of 1 plus 1 all over 4. Okay, what's that give us? That gives us minus 1. Uh, 1 plus 1 is 2, so that's 3 squared is 9. So that gives us plus 9 over 4. And you can actually see what we end up with. That's 8 over 4, which gives us 2, which is the second term. What about the tour to this? What about the, which is the second term? What about a2, which is effectively the tour term? So that gives us minus one to the power of two plus three to the power of two plus one all over four. That gives us well, that gives us one, okay? one. Minus one squared is one. And three cubed is plus 27, okay? All over four, which gives us 28. 28 over four, which is equal to, voila, it's equal to seven. And let's just do the next term. Let's say a three. A three is effectively minus one. Uh, raised to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus 1 over 4. What do we end up with here? Well, minus this gives us minus 1 uh, plus, what do we have here? We have uh, 3 to the power of 4. Well, 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So 3 to the power, multiply, the, multiply oops, sorry, 3 multiply 27 by 3, uh, that's going to give us 81 over 4, which is same as 80 over 4, which is equal to 20. So you can see even from the closed form solution perspective, which is what we'd expect, our sequence is 1, followed by a 2, followed by a 7, followed by a 20, comma, dot, dot, dot.
and that's our solution. Okay. So in this particular video, uh, we did we did two things. Uh, we found from a recurrence, we found the closed form solution, and then we just showed that the first couple of terms we just rationalized uh, that it actually does generate the same the same sequence. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, once again, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and I hope that this video dealing with a degree two homogeneous linear system, linear recurrence relation. Uh, I hope that this particular video uh, was intuitive and more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you and thanks for watching.